The heavy snow left highways and streets in rough shape. KCTV5's Emily Rittman has been driving around all afternoon to monitor those road conditions and our mobile storm tracker. Emily, where are you now? Well, right now we are on 9 Highway and we're headed towards downtown Kansas City and we are right behind one of the most popular people in Kansas City today. We are behind a plow truck driver. They are still out at this hour after working round the clock, trying to stay ahead of the storm, then trying to remove the snow and then just have that snow blown rack right back on the roadway. So they're continuing that work. And as we've made our way around the metro today on the Missouri side, on the Kansas side, we're still seeing a lot of snow covered highways and residential streets. We've seen those crews continuing to work and on many stretches of highway, you're still going to have a little bit of trouble seeing what lane you're in because those highways are still snow covered and those windy conditions mixed with that snow made this morning commute and the afternoon commute pretty treacherous. The Missouri State Highway Patrol says from midnight to 2 p.m. they responded to 102 stranded drivers, 45 non-injury crashes and four injury crashes with seven people hurt. So it was a tough go this morning. We're hoping for better this evening. Casey Scout is still reporting some st stranded drivers and crashes at this hour. So if you must make it out tonight, give yourself plenty of time to take it slow and drive for those conditions. Back to you. All right, you be careful out there. Emily, thank you for that. And dozens of schools, including Shawnee Mission and Olathe, have already canceled classes now for tomorrow. Some of the heaviest snowfall totals are being reported in parts of Johnson County. KCTV5's Abby Dodge has spent the day checking things out on the Kansas side. Abby, how's it looking now? Well, Carolyn, snow isn't falling anymore, so that is a big improvement for everyone around the metro. And we did just see within the last 60 seconds a snow plow drive uh, by us over here on 87th Street in Overland Park. But you know what? The All the work that they did starting very, very early this morning kind of got washed away because of the wind blowing the snow back onto the streets and just the continuous snowfall that did not stop. When we got into work this morning, the first thing that we did was leave the station and take a look at the roads. This is a time lapse from about 1030 this morning with all that snow still falling. There weren't too many cars on the road, but of course a lot of snow and that made visibility pretty low. It continued to get worse throughout the morning as we were driving around Olathe and Overland Park. We saw countless people stuck on the side of the road because their cars had hit piles of snow that they just couldn't drive over. Both Olathe and Overland Park say they did make the decision last night to pre-treat the roads even with rain in the forecast. That is going to help tonight when temperatures drop again. For now, they're just asking for patience. I wouldn't feel confident going out until tomorrow. Uh, once it stops, we'll, we'll, we'll start seeing some progress with the roads. Uh, but it's, it's going to take a while to get all this snow off the road. The biggest challenge right now is just making sure that people understand that it's going to take us some time to get to every street. And that's the name of the game, patience. So both Olathe and Overland Park say that they're going to try their best to get to residential side streets by tonight. But you might have to wait until tomorrow. They are going to have crews running continuously. So make sure to check in with us here at Channel 5 for all the latest updates. Live in Overland Park, Abby Dodge, Casey, TV5 News. Yeah, it's just going to take some time. Thanks, Abby. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas says it will take several days to get every street clear. Kansas City, Missouri has more than 300 snow plows out on the streets, pulling extra workers to drive them. The head of public works says crews have been at it since yesterday, but it is a big job. We were able to get, actually get all the streets pre-treated last night and yesterday. Uh, and so we actually have every street to get some type of touch today. Uh, but given the amount of snow, it's going to take longer to get there, you know. Uh, so that's the big thing. It's, it's a lot of snow. And Shaw says on average, Kansas City deals with about a three inch snow. Obviously, this is much more, it's more than twice that. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster has been out checking roads in Kansas City. Betsy, how's it looking in your area? It's pretty good. I'm at 59th and Brookside Boulevard. I'm going to step out of the way here for a second because I want to show you. You can see uh, Brookside Boulevard. Well, right there, you're looking at 59th Street. That is very fully plowed here on Brookside Boulevard, another arterial road. Uh, it is less significantly plowed. Now here, check this car out. I was waiting for this to happen. As people take turns and try to get up the hill, 
We have noticed that some of the cars have fishtailed a little. That one looked like it did pretty well, but we have seen a, a, a little bit of slipping and sliding. Side streets vary. I saw some in Waldo that had a single lane plowed to pavement, but others further north of that did not. Even on a street that had been plowed, we saw someone having trouble getting out of his on-street parking space. This was at 85th and Truce, just before 4 p.m. A stranger came by with a shovel to lend a hand, which helped some, but his tires were still spinning. After that, all he needed was a little push. I appreciated him coming out with the shovel because I don't think I could have got out without his helping hand. It's rough out here. I tell people if you ain't got to be out there, don't go. <laughs> yeah, it, it hasn't been easy driving. Though I'll tell you, it's been fine on the straightaways. Really, the trouble has been when you have to stop and then start anew. Uh, we did see that here at this intersection. I experienced that myself. There you go. You see a little bit of spinning there, even with pickup trucks, four-wheel drive vehicles. So if you have to get out tomorrow, tomorrow's probably a better day to do it. But first, check to see if you've been plowed in. You may need to bring a shovel out there with you. Reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, you're right. Not a bad thing to throw in the car, too. Betsy, thank you for that. Now, the morning commute was a real nightmare for drivers who just had to get to work while that snow was still coming down. Here's a live look at I-35 now at Cambridge Circle. Normally, it would be packed with cars this time of day, but many have heeded the warnings and taken it slow or take it just stayed at home throughout the day today. Good advice. It has been a day many drivers won't soon forget, as you just heard. KCTV 5's Angie Racono is monitoring the road conditions for us tonight in the Northland. She joins us live now along 152 Highway. Angie, how do those roads look? You know, honestly, they're not too bad. Obviously, you need to be careful. You need to go slow. And if you take a look at 152, I'm on the area that's near Liberty. You can actually see blacktop in some areas. Now, normally 152 would be pretty busy. And right now you can tell there's just not that many people out. People are really listening to the advice to not go out unless you really have to. And that includes a Northland mom trying to make sure her son's birthday is memorable. She braved the streets to get him balloons. Normally, I, um, I stay home whenever it's bad weather out. So don't judge me. I, everybody on our neighborhood page is like, don't get out. Stay home. Don't be selfish. And here I am. So. It's what you do for your children. It's true. It's for my kids. So what can I do? Five years old birthday Five party. Five year old. It's a big deal, right? And these are my babies. So happy fifth birthday to Mikey Cascone. There he is with his balloons. His mom has a fun evening planned out for him. She rolled out here in the icy parking lot, and we immediately noticed her because hardly anyone was out. And, of course, she's got this, like, giant balloon bouquet trying to make today special. But at the parking lot that we're in right now, you can see they're still trying to clear it out right now. They came out earlier. They did some sections. They were waiting for everyone to leave so that they can get all all of the rest of the sections because when the cars are out here it's tough to do it but a lot of the stores are already closing down so for people in the northland there's not much reason to get out and about let's send it back to you in the studio yeah probably too late for balloons at this hour angie thank you for that and happy birthday to mikey